In this video, I'm going to show you four different methods on how we can screen capture the desktop display of a Raspberry Pi 4. I will show you what works and what did not work for me. I'm going to release different videos related to Raspberry Pi. So this is very important to show you the screen capture of my desktop. We will now try VLC media player to record our screen. So the good thing about VLC is that we don't need to install the application itself because it's already on the Raspberry Pi 4. But for us to be able to record, we need to input this on the terminal. We need to add additional VLC plugin so that we can use the screen record. It's already installed on my Raspberry Pi, so there will be no upgrade, but on you, there will be a download of repository. Now we need to click media and select video capture, then select desktop, and we need to change the frame rate to around 15. Then we need to convert, so we need to select convert, and then select a, a format, which is MP, MP4. Then we need to browse where we're going to locate the file. So we will, rec we will put this file on desktop. The recording the recording file which is mp4 and then we can we can click start this time this must be recording already so everything on the display on our desktop should be recorded on the mp mp4 file Now we stop it and the recording should be stopped and we have now an updated file. I checked the size and it's just 93 or 90 KB. But let's see what it will display. It displays the recording but the time is not really accurate because it's just around 6 seconds. Or five seconds so I think the BLC recording for Raspberry Pi works but there might be some tweaking needed I tried to rep to do this again by changing the frames per second but still I was not able to get a stable recording the next screen capture will be Kazam we install Kazam, there are two ways. We can install it by a terminal. So by a terminal, we need to type sudo app install Kazam. Then it will start to look for the repository and it will download it. Now we're done, it's downloaded. Another way is to use the add remove software inside the Raspberry Pi and just search Kazam. As you see here, it's checked because it's already installed. If it's not yet installed, you can check it and then click apply. But for now, we'll just leave it. Now let's open Kazam on under sound and video. So this is the menu of Kazam. We will not modify anything and just start capturing. At this point, the Kazam software should be start recording what we have. Now let's stop the recording, finish recording, then we need to click continue, then put the name on our mp4 file. So we will name it Kazam, or record, recording 
by a kazam. Now let's check the file. Recording via Kazam. It's moving, but there's no display. So I assume Kazam is not working. It's not working for me, Raspberry Pi 4. To install Record My Desktop, we need to open the terminal and then type sudo app install Record My Desktop. It will download the resources and then after a while it will be done. Now it is installed, you can now check if it's already on our applications and it seems that it's not here yet. Because Record My Desktop doesn't have a GUI and it has a separate applications so that we can use a GUI for it. We can use a command line but it's easier if we will use a GUI to access it. So we can add it on the add and remove applications. Then we can search G GTK dash record my desktop. This will be our GUI front end for record my desktop. Now it's done searching. Then we can click on it. Then press apply. And we put the password, the default password for our Pi is Raspberry. And it will start downloading the packages. After installing, we can just click OK. Now you can see in the sound video section, you will you have another record, my desktop. And you can set video quality, sound quality, and you can hit record. But we need to set the area first, and we have some issues here. So before we can record, we need to select the panel in which we need to, where we want the record, the section to be recorded. We need to click select window and then you can select it on not on the actual window but on the window inside the window of record my desktop application. As you see, it reflects wherever we drag the rectangular shape. So I'm now capturing the whole screen and still I still have error because the sound quality is checked so I need to uncheck it. You can control the recording. So right now it's recording, so we will see the result after a while. Okay, now we're done, so it's now rendering. Let's see the quality of the recording. Now we're 100%, so our recording should now be saved. So it saved us out that OG 
v file so it's not a standard common file so still it can be opened by vlc so let's check so this is the quality of the output as you see the color is not that really good so i think we need to i think this is not something that is use, really useful as a recording we can check other recording software for our raspberry pi 4. Now we will try Simple Screen Recorder. This is actually installed already on my Raspberry Pi. So just to show you how to install it, you just need to open terminal and type sudo app install Simple Screen Recorder. It's already installed on my RPI, so it will not download the repository. and just shows that it's already there. But for you, it will download the application. Now we need to it's actually recording now. That's the one I'm using to record this. So I will open two instance of simple screen recorder. So you just need to click continue. And then here, the input profile. Uh, you need to leave this unchecked if you don't have an input audio. For me, I don't have any input audio. So I'll just uncheck it. Then continue. So you need to check the output profile. I choose YouTube. And then you need to look for. You need to, to select what file name and the, the directory where you will save your file. So I will select MP4, then continue. Oops, we need to select the output files, gone. When I select YouTube, so we need just need to select another location. I will just put it here on desktop so that you can you can easily see it. Then we can save it and then we can now I think we can now click continue then start recording everything now that is on the screen should be recorded on this mp3 file mp4 file Now we can save it and check the output. So we just need to open this on VLC Media Player and see how our recording looks. As you see, it's working well. Compared to the previous three that I've tested, this is the one that actually works. And you can actually create or open two instances of this application. Actually, I used this application to record the other three just to show you how I did the testing. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye.